We are just a few minutes away from the Week 2 matchup between the St. Cloud State Huskies and the Upper Iowa University Peacocks. Both these teams play in the Northern Sun Intercollegiate Conference for their athletics. But here today, we take it to the monitors on the virtual Rocket League pitch. St. Cloud State dropped their Week 1 matchup in Game 5, whereas the Upper Iowa Peacocks, they were swept by St. Ambrose in Week 1. So for the Peacocks, they're just looking to get their first game win of the season. But both teams are both looking to get their first series win. We'll take a quick look at the standings. We see St. Cloud State sitting there in sixth as they have a minus one game differential. Morningside Varsity, they have yet to play a game this year. They had a bye week of the last week, I should say. And then Upper Iowa, they're one of the two teams that fell, that got swept earlier in the season, or I guess I'll say last week. And we'll going into this one, it'll be the same trio for the Huskies. It will be Power, Devin, and Enbunk. That will be Evan for Power, if I name drop him. Devin is Devin. Simple enough. And then Enbunk is Noah. Then on the side for the Peacocks, you have Krupster, Kenny, and Tenpin. Same trio as Upper Iowa had last week against St. Ambrose. We'll see what that trio can do here tonight. But again, ladies and gentlemen, this is all about the Huskies here. I have I had a blast last week. I had a lot of good feedback from you guys. Uh, everything looked great. And we are close to getting underway. As there's a little discrepancy on who was supposed to make the lobby. Uh, make the make the match, so to speak, uh, between the Huskies and the Peacocks. Over overall, last week it was either Huskies were thriving or struggling to survive. And game one, it was a one nothing shutout for the Hastings College Broncos. And ladies and gentlemen, we are about to get into this matchup. Just moments underway, just waiting for the players to join in. But this should be an exciting one. I like the boys' chances here tonight. As we get ready to go here. Everyone is in, just waiting for the first team to join. We have three Peacock players in and three Husky players. As we are going to get ready to go. But I believe I'm going to have to make a quick change. As we're going to want that. As my scoreboard is wrong, give me one second, ladies and gentlemen. I had it right the first time. There we go. St. Cloud State will be in the orange. And the Upper Iowa University Peacocks will be in the blue. As will be a Grupster chasing this one down. He's challenged quickly by Enbunk. Power can't get there. Sets up a fake. Devin's able to win the 50 out. Might as well get some game sound in there. Powers able to hold that midfield line. Decides to circle back. Devin happy to play that into the corner. Centering. Attempt by Krupser at two Huskies right there. Huskies looking to get control here for the moment. Touching the open space from Devin. Gonna get slammed right back. Ten pin soft shot just wide. And Buck will clear that one away, win the 50 as well. Let's see what the Huskies can do here on attack. And they'll work this one around, 10 pin. Low into the corner. Good follow up touch there from the Peacock player. Gretch saved there by Power. Huskies get away with one early. 
Got off the backboard. No read right there, but it's going to be Tennessee. For the Peacocks as Upper Iowa gets a little scrambled on their own goal line. And Bunk looking to hold the zone. And cough up for Krupster. Dangerous touch there by Power. Runs into Devon. Could have been a disaster. Huskies are scrambling now as they double commit. Tennessee's shot gets blocked by 10-pin. As it's just calamity in the Husky end right now. Both teams struggling to get some real offense going. Neither team wants to be the one to make that first mistake. Power pass to himself off the backboard. Looks to carry off the sidewall. Runs out of boost. Got just wide. There's end bunk. Goes crossbar and out. Can Devin clean up? No. Huskies yet to get on the board here. Halfway through game number one. Bunk, soft touch up field. Tenpin's going to put that one back into his own corner, not where he wanted to go. Power and end bunk struggle to decide who's going to collect that ball. Grubster. Looking to get something middle. There's Tenpin. He's immediately 50 by a Husky. Power wrapping this one around. Gets it to go in. Just needed that one touch in the corner. The Huskies lead 1-0 off of a cheeky play by Power. As Tennessee just kind of flipped the wrong way right there. Trying to clear that ball out. Might have put it in, put it in the back of his own net, but Power will get credit as the Huskies draw first blood just with under two minutes to go. And Bunk's going to get a touch out. Tenpin will hold the zone. You see all Iowa players kind of flooded over to that left-hand side. Timid right now are the Huskies. That's a dangerous whiff from Power. But Devin's there to clean up. He's going to chase this one down. Centering attempt. Peacocks get in the way. Keeps us at a one goal lead for now. Approaching the final minute. Edbunk can't get there. Devin has to back off. Tennessee with it. Pops it up high. Good read by Devin. That'll be down off the ceiling. Power float touch. Flip reset. What are the Huskies doing? Trying to go for flashy plays here in the final minute with a one-goal lead. I don't think so. I'm sure their head coach, Kai, going to tell them to calm down. Because the game is not over just yet. We see a demo come into play. Devin shot just wide. Tenpin was slow with the read off the backboard. Power happy just to play that one deep. Devin, high 50. Enbunk can't get there. Yeah, they're just looking to stay in front of it. He does. Final 30 seconds. We'll see what St. Cloud can do. Good touch from N. Bunk to put that in the open space. Devin tries to go far side. Gets met by an Iowa player. Center attempt's going to get finished by Devin. Good feed from N. Bunk. Huskies. Looked like that'll finish off game number one as Ed and Bunk put a little pace on the ball. Caught the Peacocks off guard. And it looks like that will do it for game number one. St. Cloud State will take it in a all right 2 nothing win. And it is a best of five for those of you that are new to a Rocket League here, as we look at the score line, six shots, the four in favor of St. Cloud. We see four saves for the Huskies, stopping all four shots from Upper Iowa. But we'll see what the Peacocks have in store. I'm sure they'll have plenty to change here. Going into game two, overall, St. Cloud looking solid. Krupster struggling in 
double digits, only 96 points on the match. We're going to need to see. He's going to need to step up if he wants to help out Upper Iowa get back within this one. But for St. Cloud State, they take game number one. We'll see what they can do in game number two here. As we're going to hop right into it. Dropster. We'll send that one back. Power off the backboard. It's a centering touch. Devin Cup, Cup cuts off. End bunk there. Not a whole lot. Cropsters going to get 50 to weigh. End bunk's lurking back door, but 10 pit's going to shut him down before it can get anything happen. Power. Backboard almost picks the top corner. Power, are you kidding me? He still has boost. Stay on the ball, Evan. Do what you got to do, but Tenpin again going to shut down the St. Cloud attack. And Krupster's going to find the back of the net as he struggled in game one, puts his Peacocks on the board here in game two. And for the Peacocks, they draw first blood in game number two. And for St. Cloud, we got to see them Kind of settled back and are they going to double up? What a save from Enbunk. Are you kidding me? I thought that ball was dead to right. Power pops it. There's Devin. Enbunk cuts in, but a little too telegraphed for St. Cloud. As you guys see, the Huskies get a bit more movement on the ball here. Devin, rush, play. Perhaps just going to get a touch. Tennessee a little awkward. Working along the half wall, it's going to pinch out right to Krupser. He puts a slow shot on. Devin looks to go the other way, goes coast to coast. Devin ties us all up. As it is a near perfect scoreboard, a one through through three, one. St. Cloud back in it here with plenty of time to play. This is very neutral kickoff there from either side. Krupser wins 150, gets demoed for his efforts. Ball gets sent down to the other end. Devin tries to pass that one back out, almost lands right in front of end bunk. So he's not able to do a whole lot with it. Chip shot, power just wide, gets a demo. Center attempt, there's end bunk, goes low. Tennessee was ready. And now we see the St. Cloud offense rolling a little bit. Power, good control to get out of the way of that bump attempt. Devin, center attempt, and bunks right there. Chip shot, power, didn't have a lot of boost to work with. And bunks 50, that's gonna get centered. Tennessee could have a chance at this, but 10 pin will cut in. Good goal post stand. Huskies double committing the bit there, but Power's going to get credit. Put a couple bodies in front of the ball. Good things can happen. As Ted Pin, who is a one car against two, you're not going to win that one nine times out of ten. And Huskies, they're going to take the lead here. Just at halftime here in game number two, two and a half minutes to go. We'll take a quick look at the scoreboard. St. Cloud out shooting Upper Iowa 5-3 to three at the moment. We'll see what can change here. Tenpin going to get a touch out. St. Cloud's going to be happy just to hold the zone. Devin. Off the backboard. It's going to go bar down and in. A little bar Mexico sauce from Devin here on the floater. Grapster just can't get there in time. St. Cloud will extend their lead to two. Never gonna pop that one up. He'll chase himself, but Krupser right there. And Bunk happy to play that one. Downfield, Tenpin gonna cut it away from Tennessee. 
off the ceiling <laughs> challenge from 10-pin. Works out a little bit, but doesn't have a teammate right there to follow up. Devin, he's going to half flip, meet the ball on the other side. As we see the Peacocks stutter a little bit as they can't decide on who wants to go for the ball. Apparently, no one wants to go for the ball for the moment. Follow-up attempt by 10-pin. Are you kidding me? I'm surprised he followed that with this little boost. As he had in the tank, Krupster gets two underneath the shot. As that goal would have put St. Cloud, or would have cut the St. Cloud lead down to one. Devin, not a lot of boost. Has a one to beat, 10 pin off the sidewall. Ed Bunk will cut it back into the box. But Huskies, they're happy just to hold the midfield. A little bit of dump and chase here, kind of a play style similar to hockey. Devin, off the backboard, 10 pin's gonna shut that down before he can do anything else. Final 40 seconds, St. Cloud leads three to one. Demo into the box for Upper Iowa. Could be a chance for 10-pin. But they're a little too slow to get to the shot. St. Cloud will hold on to that two-goal cushion. Devin again holding the zone. Good midfield pressure from the Huskies. They let the close out game number two. Open that opportunity. No one's there. And Bunk happy to play keep away. And St. Cloud State, they'll take game number two. 3 1. And I'll lead the series 2 0. And they'll put the Peacocks with their backs against the wall. Seven shots to the six of Upper Iowa. But the shot, it was really just the shot quality from the Peacocks just really wasn't there. And for St. Cloud State, you know, he had the three saves there from Edbunk. Really doing his part on the defensive half, but it was Power and Devin to get it done on offense. So going into game number three. We'll see if the good boys can close it out. Going into what to what could be potentially the final game. And a 3-0. No, I'm going to hold off on that. So I'm, I'm not going to commentate, curse the team here. I've done that way too many times. But we'll see what St. Cloud State can do. Going into this map, this third game of the match, Krepster. Very early challenge, Tenpin has to take that ball away. Could have landed in a really bad spot for Upper Iowa. Huskies really laying on the pressure here. End book on the pre jump. You think he was expecting Devin to get that one out a little bit quicker. Power touch mid, that's gonna be straight to 10 pin. And Bunk tried to get that pinch off the backboard, couldn't do it, goes for the bump, Tennessee's right there. But Devin has that one covered. Back into the corner. Krepser's gonna play that one middle, a little scary. But Huskies had that one covered. Power with an early challenge. He's not going to win out. Tenpin gets sent away. And we'll see what Tennessee can do. Power off the backboard. Gets the initial save. Gets the clear. St. Cloud in transition for the moment. All three Husky players right on top of each other. They have to spread out. Put a little more. Spread out their influence on the field. A double commit from St. Cloud going to give up possession. Allows Upper Iowa to get a little bit closer, get some offense going. And Bunk will send that one down. Devin going to hold the midfield line. Ball stays pretty mid. And Bunk just couldn't get the read. Power off the corner. No boost to work with. Devin will cut off the clear and attempt. Try to get that one back into the middle but he didn't have a teammate to work with. 
Ten picks going to double touch into the corner. Clear's not there for St. Cloud. Devin will rush over. No, it's power. Has end bunk right there. Gets a soft flick to go through. Goes top shelf. Where mom hides the cookies. St. Cloud State. Take the lead here in game number three. It's a big one. See what the Huskies can do here. See if they can close out the series or if we're going to need an extra game or two. Hopefully not. It's a bad read from 10-pin. Corrupts are going to kick that one away. Devin just looking to be a nuisance in the corner. Tough challenge from Edbunk. Power at the read. Good aggressive pressure from St. Cloud right now. He's halfway through the game. Not allowing the Peacocks to break out of their own end. Making them use up a lot of their boost just to do so. And Buck waiting for a pass from Devin. It was there. And Buck's going to get demoed. Power top shelf once again. He's found the money. Hits pay dirt. Huskies double up. Off of a good read there by Power. Tennessee caught a bit flat footed. Tent pin couldn't slide in when he had the chance. Krupp's just gonna fan on that one. St. Cloud State, 100 seconds away from claiming their first ever collegiate victory here with the Rocket League team. Program that was only started last semester, making huge strides already. Devin tried to go for a low 50. He gets, does not win that 50. Power, no boost. Devin, you're scaring me. Gets to clear away. But Husky's not out of harm's way so far. Game is not over. A two goal lead, very. It's really a false sense of reality. It's not as big as you think. So the Huskies, they can't get too passive here. Good touch there by Power. They'll chase it down. Centers right to end book a little high in the mark. Devney's going to clean up. Chipped off a of Peacock. Doesn't matter. St. Cloud stayed up by three in game three. As Devin, he had the whole net to shoot at. Puts it right off a 10-pin call to strike. As the Huskies are out shooting Upper Iowa 7-2 here in the final minute. And that last goal from Devin should be the nail in the coffin. But I have seen crazier things happen in my five years of calling Rocket League. Final 30 seconds. Upper Iowa needs a miracle here. Head pitch shot. Gonna go top shelf. Krupster's gonna clean up. Up the brakes, ladies and gentlemen. Game's not over. Good read from Krupster just to confirm that goal. Not over just yet. Devin gonna play that one up. Krupster can't get a good read. It should be end bunk to finish. No. As the clock winds down. St. Cloud State, you spent years in the making and you've just won your first ever collegiate esports matchup. Congratulations. This is going to be the first of many for this program. A big 3 0 victory. St. Cloud State moves to 1 and 1 on the year. And for Upper Iowa, they're going to have to go back to the drawing board. They'll move to 0 and 2. And for St. Cloud State, big win for Devin, Evan, and Noah, and Coach Kai. Those four have been, they've put in the work this week. I know after last week, all the three of them were saying 
it just nerves got to us. And, you know, sometimes uh, nerves are tough, especially with these three players. It's their first time competing in an environment. It's their first time really representing their school, you can say. And as much as you put all that weight on your shoulders, you want to do a good job. But they got that first, they got that first series out of the way last week. And then this week, they put in the work and practice, and they are rewarded with a 3-0 series sweep. Congratulations to them. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be all for me tonight. Thank you for tuning in, Husky fans. Stay warm, stay safe, and remember, stay classy. I'll see you in a couple weeks.